Coronary heart disease is the leading cause of death in Germany. It's due to a narrowing of the coronary arteries. Until now, the most reliable method to detect these types of narrowings was catheter-based coronary angiography. However, this method is not without risk. CT coronary angiography could soon replace this method in diagnostics. Adjunct Professor Oliver Klass, MD of the Media Park Clinic in Cologne, explains how a diagnosis with the CT scan works. Die Risiken der konventionellen Herzkatheteruntersuchung liegen in mehreren Punkten. There are various risks with conventional cardiac catheterization. It's an invasive procedure. That means the artery in the groin area of the patient is punctured. You could already injure someone in theory. It could result in a hemorrhage or an aneurysm. During the course of the process, you need to feed the catheter up the aorta into the coronary arteries. This could loosen plaques in the aorta. It's quite rare, but it can happen. The coronary vessel could also get damaged during cardiac catheterization, of course. If you subsequently perform an intervention and move into the vessel with the catheter, there could be a dissection leading to bleeding. The catheter could trigger cardiac arrhythmias all the way to ventricular fibrillation. All of these are potential risks that are quite rare, of course, but their number and frequency have been consistent over the past 25 years. All das sind potenzielle Risiken, die natürlich relativ selten sind, aber seit 25 Jahren in der Anzahl und Häufigkeit konstant. Not only plaques, but also bypasses and stents can be assessed at a workstation, a powerful computer using CT coronary angiography. Letztlich ist es eine computertomographische Aufnahme, also eine Röntgen. Ultimately, it's a CT image that, because it's an X-ray with many layers, enables us to assess the overall volume. We take images while the maximum contrast agent density has been achieved in the coronary vascular tree. The image itself only takes a quarter of a second. We're able to work on these images afterwards and assess every individual vessel from top to bottom. Und können dann jedes einzelne Gefäß von oben bis unten beurteilen. Software processes the data that's converted into three-dimensional image data. Rendered findings can therefore also be graphically displayed. Also letztlich ist es eine Rechenleistung des Computers. Also der Computer. Ultimately, this is all the computer's processing power. The computer sends us the data of the complete recorded volume. The computer has algorithms that enable us to map those areas with the maximum contrast agent density, for instance the coronary arteries. We can determine what we want to see. This way, we are able to illustrate each individual vessel. To do this, you virtually have to check frame by frame and slice by slice and analyze whether the computer path is located accurately in the vessel, and if so, we have a very precise presentation of the individual blood vessel. Wenn er das tut, dann haben wir, wie gesagt, eine sehr präzise Darstellung vom einzelnen Gefäß. This method is primarily suited for patients with a medium pretest probability. Aside from excluding coronary heart disease, based on guidelines, coronary artery anomalies are another main indication. Die Vorteile der Corona-Angiografie im CT sind zum einen, dass es ein nicht invasives Verfahren ist. On the one hand, the advantage of CT coronary angiography is that this is a non-invasive method. That means no intervention is required. The images are taken externally and garner the respective information. The radiation exposure is lower than when using an intercardiac catheter. There is no risk of complications. I learn much more about the coronary arteries because unlike with the catheter, I can display the vascular wall including plaques. Soft plaque, mixed plaque, calcified plaque. This has clear consequences for the treatment. I am able to offer a method that is far more pleasant for the patient. Looking into the future, I would definitely venture to guess that CT coronary angiography is able to replace large portions of the previously performed standard diagnostic coronary angiography. What's more, coronary angiography will also be needed to perform interventions. Realistically, however, you can drastically reduce the number of intercardiac catheters. I would argue by almost 50% with the advantage that this saves a lot of healthcare expense. Realistischerweise kann man die Anzahl der Herzkatheter dramatisch reduzieren, ich würde behaupten um fast 50%. Und das durch die Koronarangiografie ersetzen, mit dem Vorteil, dass man auch im Gesundheitswesen viele Kosten spart.